Imagine throwing your desktop PC away in order to replace it with your phone while still retaining that desktop experience. That may sound silly, but now in 2025, it is actually feasible to get rid of this and replace it with this. So here I have a traditional computer experience, as you can see, very similar to the Windows desktop. All of this, however, is being powered directly from my phone. And what's great is whatever type of computing you like to do, you are pretty much covered here. Now, in my case, I like to start off a typical computer session just by doing some of the basics, maybe some web browsing, checking my emails on Gmail, maybe doing a little bit of online shopping on Amazon or eBay and then heading over to YouTube, check up on some videos from my creator subscriptions. And you can do all of that very easily using this setup as if you were on any standard desktop computer. But it certainly doesn't end there. I have to do quite a lot of productivity work on my computer. And fortunately, whether that's editing videos for YouTube or making changes to spreadsheets in Excel, I can do all of that with this setup. Microsoft Office apps, by the way, in particular, I find work wonderfully well here. Excel, Word, Outlook, all fully look like their full desktop counterparts. And all of the features you would expect from the Windows versions of those apps are also available here with this setup. And maybe then after some work, I might want to kick back with a little bit of gaming. Not a problem. I can go ahead and fire up any of the games I have downloaded on my phone. But something I love to do is to actually fire up my PS5 games. And the way I do that is with the PS Remote app. Make sure I have a good Wi-Fi internet connection on my phone. And then I can play anything from my PS5 library, including the wonderful Astro Bot, which did get Game of the Year last year as seamless as I would on my PS5 itself. Again, it does require a decent internet connection for streaming, but as long as you've got that, it's absolutely a fantastic experience. And yes, multitasking is a thing here as well, just as you would expect from a traditional Windows operating system. So how does this all work? What do you need to get going and how do you set it up? Unsurprisingly, you're gonna start by needing a phone. And I apologize in advance to my Apple friends, but there is no app on the Apple side of things that really competes with the Samsung DeX app that we're gonna be using here on this Android device. Android users, you really need to have a Samsung Galaxy phone because that's what Samsung DeX is natively supported on. I believe it may be possible to get Samsung DeX to work on other Android phones, but that's not something I've had to contend with. I'm using a Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra with the S25 Ultra and S25 series of phones just being released. If you've picked one of those up, you can absolutely follow along with this method. All you need to do is scroll down and then you should see Samsung DeX as a quick shortcut icon. Next up, a compatible USB-C dock is going to be required. I have this Anchor 5-in-1 here. This was very cheap, but it works wonders. So it has a number of ports on the side, including an HDMI port that can support up to 4K 30 hertz. Connection couldn't be any easier. You take your phone and you connect the hub into the USB-C port, and then all of your peripherals, including your display, are going to connect into the hub. Next up, we'll take a look at my monitor. I do want to mention that I purchased all of this hardware myself. I'm only showing you what I'm using because I know it works. This is a U-Perfect monitor. It's a portable display and it comes with the case as well. Really easy to fold out this and use as the stand. And I've got to say, it's a fantastic display. It has some really vibrant colors. And then finally, I'm just using some Bluetooth peripherals. I've also got my PS5 controller as well. But then how do you power this stuff, especially because the dock is occupying the charging port on the phone? Well, all you need to do is make sure you leave what the USB-C here spare and that is going to connect into your power source. This is actually a brilliant power bank. I love the fact that it's got a, a digital on-screen display which shows you how much battery is left and also how much juice is being used by the devices you have connected to it. And it has a cable up here which just plugs straight into the dock, okay? And that means that everything then is getting charged all from this single connection. One thing I love about this power bank is it has a number of other ports on it as well. So you can connect multiple things if you wish. And the strap also serves as another cable too, which I think is a fantastic design, but this is also very strong as well. And just to show you then how this works. So we start with my phone, which is connected through its single port to the Anchor 5-in-1 USB hub. Really easy obviously to connect that. 
and then we have the Bluetooth peripheral. So I've got keyboard, mouse over here. I've got the PS5 controller. Yep, all connected over Bluetooth to my phone. However, the hub also includes a couple more USB ports. So nothing to stop you from connecting some USB peripherals. If you have, say, a USB keyboard into that instead of using Bluetooth, that's absolutely fine. And then we have my portable monitor, which is a U-Perfect 1440p monitor over USB-C in order to power the monitor and then HDMI for video. And then if I just pull this out, we have the Anchor power bank. Now you don't have to use a power bank, you can just use a cable to connect the hub into say a wall socket and that will power everything indefinitely. But I want to have this as a little bit more of a portable setup. But let's say you want a more permanent setup, so you have your monitor, keyboard and mouse and whatnot all nicely on your desk. You come home from work with your phone, the only thing you'll need to do is plug it in to the hub. That's it in terms of connections and then it's just a case of scrolling down and turning on Samsung DeX and there we go. Okay, you are good to go. So you can set this up very quickly, very easily, every time you want to use it. Now, if you are thinking of replacing your computer with a similar setup, just be aware there are a couple of downsides. The main one probably being that you can only actually use apps that your phone itself is running, which means for the most part, apps that are downloaded from the Google Play Store. Because this is Android, which is a more open system than say Apple, you can of course get apps from other means. However, your mileage with those may vary. A lot of software that you are running on Windows, the companies that own that software have made it available on the Google Play Store, but that isn't universal. And the other downside as well is that not all apps have been designed with Samsung DeX in mind. As such, you may still be stuck to running them in a vertical orientation with the standard phone layout and pointing interface. I've not yet found an app that doesn't work. Everything I've tried absolutely does, but again, not everything works as I would like it to from a desktop perspective. Although don't forget a lot of the apps that you use on your phone, you actually won't need to use here because you are gonna be using this as a desktop. So things such as Instagram, Facebook, other social media, um, YouTube, rather than using the native apps that are installed on your phone, just access those websites directly from your web browser for the standard desktop experience there. Overall, this is definitely a fun project to try out to see if you can replicate all of your needs from your computer here with a phone setup such as this. Let me know how you manage to get on yourself if you do try something similar. Also, what phone you are using and what performance you get from that. Thank you so much for stopping by checking out this video. Hopefully it's been helpful. All of the products I've been using as part of this setup, I'll leave a link in the description for you to check out just for your convenience, but you don't have to use those products. Similar things are gonna work just as well. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.